Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, I want us to design this lab manually using the design Excel spreadsheet. So, um, I have this design spreadsheet uh, zip. So, I will unzip it. I will get stuck here. So, as much as I uh, start to give me uh, results that are very comparable to money. I sometimes confirm if I am doubting my calculation using design spreadsheet. If you need them, I have attached them as the download key in my description so you can check and download if you like. So, um, first of all, let's check our model. I will plan B. So my dimensions are in feet. So to check the dimension, it just to go to utility and then node, and then let me remove those node distance. So go to node and then click node node distance. You can see node uh, node node distance and then. Let me know distance. Then can. So I'm doing this because when you're designing slab manually, you don't need to do the design for all slabs. You just design the critical slab. That means the the largest or the largest panel, the slab in the largest panel. That is the critical slab. You will use the same design for the rest of your model. So. That's the way you go about it. So I'll check the distance here. Uh, you can see my dimensions are in feet, so I'll change the dimensions to it. Just need to settings, display options. So you can see structural units here. So select structural units and then change them to meters. Change here to meters. And then apply. And then close. So let us decide which is our most critical slab. So the most critical slab is the slab with the largest panel. And the largest panel, as you can see here, is this one. So these slabs are similar, but you just need to pick one. So either way, one of them is the largest panel. So my most critical slab here is this one. Which or I just pick this one which is in between. So this one, because it's the largest panel, is 5.6 and 4.1. So 5.6 meters in the LY, that is the longest span, and 4.1 meters in the shorter span. So let us open our design spreadsheet. So I'll go. So I have I have given you the link in my description. You can download all these spreadsheets if you wish. So I'll go to RCC94, that is 2 as well. Right click and then right click and then open. So it has opened. This is the way it looks like. So the first thing, you can see security warning here. Macros have been disabled, so enable content. Okay, now you can run macros. So the first thing, we will insert our LX which is 4.1 meters and LY which is 5.6 meters. So, our LX is 4.1, our LY is 5.6 meters. Um, the, my slab is 150 millimeters thick, so my H here will be 150. My cover will be 20, that is okay. My top cover will be 20, that is okay. Uh, self weight is calculated automatically, so you didn't need to do that. I want to use finishes of 1.5 um, kilonewtons per meter square, so 1.5. So my I'm designing a school, so um, based on the euro code, I will use an post load of 4 kilonewtons per meter square. All right. So, the other thing that I need to change, I got my FCU, my um, characterized strength of concrete is going that is okay, but my grid of steel is not 500, I'm using for 60. So I'll change that. 
Also, in this model, you can see um, uh, this slab is continuous on three sides and it's continuous on one side. So it's continuous here, here, here. So I can show you the 3D model, the 3D rendering model. So you can see. Okay, let me reduce it. So it's continuous here, 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 but it's continuous on uh, this side, which is a shorter span. So I'll go here. Uh, it is continuous. It is discontinuous on each four. It is continuous. So you can see at edge this condition. It is continuous in edge one. It is continuous here. So you need to change this to C. So you can see it's continuous on this edge. You can see that change the condition. If it is continuous also in this edge, you can change. Put you write C. So, but it is discontinuous on this edge, which is 4.1 meters. So it is B. Okay. And then from there, um, I want to use, uh, I want my bars to be 10. So I'll use, I want to do the 10, so 10, and then here 10, like that, all through. So you can see mm, the status of my slab is, is failing on maximum uh, spacing. Okay. So I use the 10 at, uh, let's say, 200. So, Maximum spacing, so I use 200 at 200. See the which part you can see. Um, 200, change that 200. And here 200. And then here, so it is now valid. You can see the set has changed to valid 200. So I want to be uniform, so I use 200 also. Right now, my design, my design is valid design. You can see uh, the design has passed. So D10 and 200. Uh, this one is uh, bottom one, and remember bottom bottom one we spread it in the longer span. So bottom one we are going to spread it this way. So bottom one are is um um bottom one are slabs um maybe if i have um, a sample here let me let me look if i have a sample i that i did show you what is bottom one bottom two and all that stuff so slab and deep so let me open this yes okay, i need to right click and then um, open with Adobe Acrobat. So you need to know what is uh, what is bottom one, what is bottom two, what is top one, what is top two, and also okay, okay. I'm not sure you're making again. Okay, so I will use um I don't know this one does not look like it, it should appear in the correct manner. So click this, and click, and then open. Okay. So I will increase to seventy five percent. So the bottom one are the ones which are spread in the longer span. So basically, um, bottom one are are these. This one is what is bottom one, you can see. Let me show you bottom one from my design. So you can see bottom one. Bottom one is running this way, but it is being spread along the longer span. Okay, and then bottom two, bottom two is this one, running that way, but it's being spread along the shorter span. And then, you have um, top one and top two. So top one 
top one is uh, is basically the, 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 the if there are any so top one is basically um this one which are on the uh on the edges on the like like on the beams are lying on the beams so this one are the top one so top one and there is there is distribution top distribution and this top so there's a difference so this one is top one and this one is so top one is this one running this way and this one running that way you can see is top distribution one okay so that that is it so actually this this is two two so top two is top distribution top distribution bar which is uh this one you can see you can see the way i'm taking my cursor so the the river which is running is running that way but it's being spread in this direction this one now is top top two and this one is top one so this one is top distribution this one is top one so i hope you understand that so now after we have finished designing uh, you need to you can check the weight um, so total reinforcement in base is in cages is 204 uh, and density is 57.7 uh, you can check the modes if you wish so uh, we need to print uh, this result so that we will have our, our calculation so we just need to click print sheet so it is now printing so do um, I save it as, uh, let me save it as my desktop I save it as um, sample manual uh, slab and then save So it's now printing. Now printing. Okay, that's finished printing. So we just open. So this one, right click and then open with Adobe Acrobat. So here is uh, your calculations uh, showing that the status of your design is valid and showing uh, what now you will you will detect in your um in your in your detailing in your slab detailing slab maybe slab a uh, slab detail all right so this is what uh the calculation that you uh, compose present okay so we are done uh there's another way i wanted to show you you go you can you need to go to view um you go to macros say uh, run that's another way of printing all right so if you can't see this just need to go to view you can see the option from home inside we go to view and then macros and then run it then it will print so i can save it as slab uh, manual uh, two It's now printing. I have saved it still in my desktop. So um, I will open it with the adapter. So now you can see it's the same thing. So guys, thank you. Um, remember, I have attached. I have attached a downloading. You need all the spreadsheets because um, sometimes you might there might be a problem in your model and may give you uh, something that is not correct. Mine was giving me 200 and so I usually like to be, be uniform so I'll use this same design for all my uh, my slabs in the model. So I will use just a T10 at 200 in, in bottom bottom one, bottom two, top one, top two and then top distribution one, top two in all 
the slabs in my model because that is the design that was my critical design so um, thanks guys let's see you in another video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, it takes a lot of effort and uh, i'll really really appreciate if you support my channel and i have very good content for you thank you so much